Resident Evil. Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil Code Veronica with me Oxfu. And well you might notice I'm at the start screen once again. Uh, uh there were quite a few people who weren't very much pleased with last episode, the first episode I start that we started this all off with. And I can understand. Uh, I, it, it wasn't really what you were expecting. We kind of, Harry and I tried something a bit new, for us at least. Uh, we both tried recording our own episode at the same time. It didn't really work out as well as planned. But you know what? We had fun. It was an experience. But I also missed out on quite a few cutscenes that I needed in order to properly play this game blind. So what we're going to do for this episode is I'm going to talk over more cutscenes cut scenes for a second virus that was instigated by the International Corporation and the listen to how this guy won't take a single breath <laughs> while reading this out. <laughs> A rookie police officer, Leon S. Kennedy, managed to escape from... Ah, oh, darn. I was hoping he had a Truman S. No period. It didn't stand for anything but the S. But I'm gonna watch through these cutscenes, see what's going on, because I, I missed a lot. Because Harry and I were talking over Three everything. Three months later. <gasps> Three months later? That's a third of a pregnancy! Um, and just... I, I need to take this in, so I'm gonna be doing a lot of cuts between cutscenes for the next couple of minutes, and then we'll go on into the episode proper. So bear with me. Your identification number is WKD4496. Welcome okay. to your new home. So we're being brought to a prison because we were caught in her name is Paul Paris. Redfield. We caught her trespassing in a Paris lab facility yeah, Paris. ten days ago. She trying to look for Chris. The complex looking for her lost brother, Chris Redfield, one of the surviving members of RPD's famous Stars teams. Oh man, again, I just love this looks fantastic this cutscene. Not really going to talk over this one that much cuz I already did. This is the Matrix, right? Claire Redfield's the one! Quick, Trinity, you gotta get Morpheus! See, it really is with, like, the Matrix. We've got all the slow motion and everything. <laughs> I mean, you, you sh... Well, no, none of them actually looked back at the explosion, so they shouldn't have gone flying at all. You should have jumped. You would have been fine. Don't move. Ah. A desert eagle. I'd like one of those. What a transition! To... Just her face again. <laughs> so, I realized that I said that that guy looked like, uh, Antonio Banderas. Not really, he looks more like, uh, Lando Calrissian. <laughs> So we've got no idea what's going on, we just know that we've been captured, put in a jail cell of some design. Cool. And Claire's having spasms! Oh no! Get a- get a medic! Oh, this is cool. this is so cool. I wish movies were like this.
Because if this was a movie, you'd have zombies, like, behind him, like, beating down the door. Already. Alright. Next cutscene! <laughs> this was never a part of the deal. chance of getting off this island. And what about you? What are you going to do? Don't worry about me. So the prison's been taken over, so you might as well let the prisoners out. I'm trying to think what movie that reminds me of. Hmm. Can't think of what it is. Alright, so we didn't pick this up before. A hemostatic capsule is on the floor. It's empty. Okay. Hemostatic capsule. Ah, uh, yes, because his corpse says he needed a hemostatic medicine or something like that, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. So I'm at first I was thinking, like, oh, is that supposed to be the cure for zombieism or whatever they call it? The T-virus cure? But no, it's just uh, to stop him bleeding, I guess. Okay. So, move on. Next cutscene. Alright, cutscene time. Oh no, the football! Totally not gonna be important. <laughs> this, they, oh man, I do really like the zombies, at least so far. They really are much more creepier than they were in the first two games. I mean, okay, no, this guy looks about as creepy as the first zombie we see in the first game, but I guess that's kind of the point, you know, the whole bald, shrunken head and everything, but... <laughs> I've never walked... I haven't walked in 30 years! I really wish they weren't a threat, that they were just, like, writhing there on the floor. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. Did much better that time, huh? Can we do anything with the truck? No, okay. I think we're going right into another cutscene, too, so... Might as well just keep it here. Yeah? No? Okay. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Don't shoot! I know I was firing at you, but come on! I'm just a kid! You're not a zombie? Zombies can't shoot back. <laughs> uh, sorry about that little misunderstanding. But what are you Canadian? One of those or up. just a stereotype? Take one wrong move and I'll shoot. Relax, beautiful. I said I was sorry. Come on, can't you see by my my collar that I'm a bad boy? And I'm guessing you're not from Umbrella either. No, I'm Claire. Claire Redfield. Claire? Hmm. Nice. What? I remember that. Just my name? I heard there's an airport around. It's a nice name. But once I find it, I can finally escape from this crazy island. Well, I'll see ya. Hey, wait up! <laughs> I don't want you following me, lady. 
will only slow me down. Don't call me a lady. I know I'm uh, 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 sending such mixed messages. Like the tut tut tut. I want to be like, you're such a young little punk. You shut shut up. But then you're like, like calling me lady. I'm not that old. Ah. Oh my god. I just noticed. That wheel is moving. Ah, realism. Ah. Okay, that is a little ridiculous the way her ponytail wafts like that in the in the breeze. Just like, oh look, I'm moving at all. It's just gonna stick straight out. <laughs> I do like it though. It just adds to the feeling of movement. Yes. The very much more realistic looking green herb this time around. Ah. Uh, let's see if we can use the knife actually. I want to save some ammo. Nope. Ha! Ha! <laughs> knife to know ya. Ah, get off! I know the no I know the joke was bad, but that doesn't give you free reign at my ankles. Oh, okay. I see that. That's showing the the symbol that's on the back of her of her jacket. Her motorcycle gang. Blood type, oh, hmm. That's pretty suspicious, because, you know, O's a pretty rare blood type. Bet she won't have to give anybody blood in this, uh. this game. We already read this. Oh no! I totally wasn't expecting that! Ah! What'll I do? No! Damn, they used all the toiletries! Whatever shall I do, I'll, I'll never be able to brush my teeth. Ah, Just makes my my mouth feel all grimy. Totally throws me off my game. Nah, at least I got more handgun bullets. You know, this game, unless it changes, like, in a few minutes, this game doesn't really seem to be all that stingy with handgun bullets. I guess you really are dead. Eh. Sucks to be you. <gasps> a camera angle from underneath the floorboards! I bet there's something right under here! Ah, I better not walk in front of it, I might get dragged under. Not yet, apparently. <laughs> ah, something is definitely under there! I couldn't have guessed earlier! It's that very atmospheric sound. It sounds like someone's typing on a computer or a machine of some sort. Ready? Ready? Ah! I'm gonna confront you! Chris Redfield. Oh, it's all just you, Steve? It's Steve, right? What are you doing here? Chris Redfield. Is he a relative of yours or something? You mean my brother? Ah. Your siblings. Why are you stalking me? <laughs> well, it seems your brother is under surveillance by Umbrella. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> Thought you were just looking up my last name, finding relatives or stuff like that. I have to contact Leon and tell him to let my brother know he's being monitored. Just looking up Redfields on Facebook. I have access to an outside connection from here. Well, that file shows the latitude and longitude of this place. <laughs> Why don't you send your brother the coordinates and ask him to come help? <laughs> I'll do that. Hey, hey I was just kidding. I was trying to be sarcastic and There's no way he could get here, even if he is your brother. <laughs> yes, he can. I'm sure of it. No way. He won't come. You'll just end up disappointed if you rely on others. Believe me, I know. Then why are you telling me to rely on you? Oh! What was that all about? I know, jeez. Kid needs a counselor or something. Work out some of these... some of these issues. It is Steve, right? Ah! The medallion we need to get through the... doorway but that we can't use because... that damn computer. Oh well. We got ink ribbons. What else we need it for? Alright, let's go check some... Oh, wait. 
He said send an email to Chris. We sent it to Leon. I see. Sneaky, sneaky. He doesn't even know anything about the Kennedys yet. Uh... No, because I don't think we've done that yet. Yes, it was Steve. Okay. I wasn't insane. Alright. So. <sighs> okay. You know, management documents. Maybe a dossier on who's running the the prison camp might be important, but no. Okay. Impar apparently not important enough to Claire. Anyway. Welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil Code Veronica. And hopefully I included most of those cutscenes that I, uh... I kind of skipped by last episode. Or wasn't able to pay attention because Rock Paper Mario and I were, well, busy talking. Anyway. We've been waiting all this time to throw this lever up. Does that mean we can go through here? No, of course not. Okay, never mind. Couldn't remember if that was what was holding it or not. Can we look at these documents on the... No? Not important? Cool. Ooh, that's cool. Just noticed uh, the footsteps are different when you walk on the paper. That's cool. Alright. This is going to let us... Uh, bring metal things through the metal detector, right? There's a way to turn that off, right? Right? Can we do anything with this 3D printer? Ah! We can activate it. Ooh, uh... Oh, I don't... Hmm. Uh, no, I'm, I'm all set. I don't... I don't know how to use these things. <laughs> I learned how to use a CNC mill when I was in high school, but that's about it. Alright, everything but the herb. Everything but the... the... No, I can't... everything but the ganja. Alright, we gotta head back out, we gotta open that... that gate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take all the metal items. Why not? First of all, we're gonna take a lighter, because... Man, that thing is useful. Oh, no, no. There we go. I'm a little worse for wear this time, but, uh, whatever. We'll be fine, right? We'll be fine. Yeah. Not expecting anything terrible and horrible beyond that gate. Except for... Well, every worse nightmare from Resident Evil. Oh, okay, it's just regular zombies. Whew! Whew, dodged a bullet there. Uh... No! We got plenty of ammo! These guys will be a pushover! As long as we don't have to reload! Wait, wait. I can reload. In this screen. <laughs> don't even have to waste a frame of animation. Alright, those guys are taken care of. These guys, not so much. Okay, but I guess they haven't seen me. Oh. I guess I gotta... Shoot that thing. Too bad I missed the cool... Hollywood explosion, but you know, I, I didn't want to die. Quick, get the fire extinguisher for no real reason. I guess we're gonna ex gonna save the day, put out some fires, and save some zombies from burning. Ah, oh, we wait. We can go back and uh. Oh boy! Guess this is what was gonna happen if uh. I didn't, uh, get out because of a zombie apocalypse. Glad there were zombies. Last thing I want to do is have my head chopped off because I was breaking into a Paris research facility. Jeez. Umbrella. You gotta work on your public image a little bit. Alright, so let's go put out a fire, I guess. Although, I mean, how we're gonna put out an entire building fire... Ah, dogs! Yeah, just... Ah, dogs! 
floating in the air. <laughs> floating in the air. Nope, stay down. There we go. We're gonna run from the other one, why not? He doesn't seem to be following us. Seems like we're all fine. Ah, okay, we're not putting out that one. Never mind. But, we can open this. Oh, wait. Oh, God. Oh, God, that means he can come through here. Ah, I'm not actually scared. Because it's just a dog that can fly. <laughs> For some reason. Ew. That's so gross sounding. Haha, <laughs> you missed. Okay, so it's five shots it seems to get him down at least. More. Probably shouldn't be doing this, but you know... I feel bad for that guy. Can we, uh... Use the fire extinguisher? No! Okay. Guess we're not using the fire extinguisher on that... that, uh, fire. Maybe we can get the briefcase. Oof. I don't want to try to get through this crowd of zombies right now, though. Please, most of you, not be here. Yeah, he's still there, but, uh... Just, yeah, just hang out there. Do the... Yeah, yeah, just keep going. Pay no mind. Pay me no... Don't worry about me! <laughs> oh, you're on fire. That's a bit of a sticky situation, ain't it? Yeah. Seems like they don't really react to sound. That's a good thing. Not quite like the... Whoa! Okay. I just realized I can quick turn by uh, pressing backwards and the run button. That would have been useful to know earlier. <laughs> I think I figured that out earlier, didn't I? Okay. You don't see me? Ah, uh, you, saw, you saw me. Yep, just you, think about what you did. Oh, come on. I just got rid of one of them. You gotta deal with more of ya? I'm almost out of bullets. Be a little, uh... I'm out of bullets. So I gotta dodge by past this guy, gotta use a knife, or I gotta use the submachine guns. Looks like it's submachine gun time because... I am not quite ready to, uh... Try just using the knife. Okay. There we go. Looks like it was a B-class fire extinguisher. I learned that for a job. <laughs> yeah, we'll take the briefcase. Can we open the briefcase? That's the question. Eh? Eh? No. Okay. <sighs> This is something we're going to be carrying throughout the game, or fighting over throughout the game, and we're not going to find out what it is until the end of the game, right? <laughs> Alright, so I'm guessing flipping that switch early in the other area. Open this one! No, okay. So where do we go now, then? This needs the, uh, the emblem. Another cutscene with Steve where he's like, hey, give me the briefcase or else, uh, bad things will happen. Do we have this fire extinguisher still? Ah, we do. Cool. That might... Uh, uh don't worry about me, dog. No, no, no. 
Oh, come on, I was right near the door. <laughs> It seems if we walk, zombies won't bother us that much. Which is kind of cool. Uh, don't worry about me. I'm doing nothing that should annoy you. Please deposit any metallic items okay. you have in the security box. So I'm guessing we do something here. We come back and we find out that the briefcase is missing. Yeah? I'm doing really bad, actually, right now. I'm kind of... No, come on. Was it... There we go. You gotta press them at the same time. Okay. I was gonna say, I, I was able to do it earlier. Okay. Grab these things, cause why not? Figure out what we can do back here, maybe. Oh! You know what? Wait a minute. Can I... Can I do this? Can I, uh... Put the hawk emblem in, and that'll make a hawk emblem that I can bring through the metal detector. Okay, and if the materials are set. What materials? <laughs> okay, so I gotta figure this out, I'm guessing, so that, uh... Is there anything over here that can help me? No. What do I have? Well, everything I have is made of metal. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go back to the... Where's file? There we go. Uh, sure. Playing man... Ooh, playing manual. <laughs> this is cool. Try to push objects. Ah, there we go. Use the quick... The quick turn. So, so yeah, this was the, the first game that they had the quick turn in, I guess. Alright. But no, what I want is... User's Manual, I think. Yes! Okay. So we want the, uh... We don't care about the scanner portion. We want the duplicator portion. So if you place the material you wish to have converted on the machine, you can begin conversion based on the 3D data that was created by the 3D scanner portion. What if it's hollow? Hmm... The conversion will be executed with the complete data accuracy. The ob result will be an object precisely true to the original. What about the materials? Nothing about the materials. Okay. Hmm. That's what I'm trying. Do I have to find an auto-duplicator somewhere else in the facility? And that's how I get metal items from place to place. At least certain metal items that I yeah, might need to use for uh, getting through places, like the Hawk Emblem. I guess it must be. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the I've been going for quite a while. I should probably end this. 
I think I'm going to see you guys next time on Let's Play, Blindly Play Resident Evil Code Veronica as I try to figure out where I need to go to get that, retrieve that hawk em emblem. Yes, yes, yes. I know. Hmm. I'm stumped. I'm trying to think where we could go. Oh well, I'll figure it out next time. See you guys then. Take it easy.